check it off the list. Eight points throughout this road trip and still two games remaining after Toronto FC picked up a 1-0 victory over DC United right here at RFK Stadium. But holy moly, the man with that S on his chest, Sebastian Javinko, put the Reds up just 57 seconds into this match, which is now a club record for the fastest goal in team history. The record was previously held by Reggie Lamb with a minute and 50 seconds. But tonight was all about the machines in the midfield. Michael Bradley and Will Johnson with their infectious work ethic and overall commitment to defense. I thought the mentality was was excellent when you talk about uh, having guys who know what it takes to win these kinds of games uh, and, and understanding how to how to how to get through it, how to compete. Uh, it's it's a it's a day it's a day for everyone to be proud. When you look at the work that Michael and, and a guy like Will now do, you know, it doesn't show up so much on the stat sheet, but what the, the, the running effort is invaluable. It, it gives our back four a bit of a rest and it helps us up front as well kind of you know take a rest when you have guys like that that kind of play for two people in terms of their running and their effort and, and what they give for the team. Um, I thought the midfield three um, specifically Michael and Will put in a, a ton of work to protect. I thought our outside backs did, did uh, a lot of work again. I think over the course of the second half I uh, might be off, but I thought they put balls in dangerous areas, but they never really had any dangerous chances in the in the grand scheme of things. With a goal here tonight, Sebastian Javinko just needs six more in order to surpass Dwayne Di Rosario's all-time Toronto FC scoring record at 32 goals. And we know Sebastian Javinko, when he has a challenge that he wants to beat, he's going to make sure that he gets it done. Head over to torontofc.ca to see all of the match highlights and post-game reaction.